Let's try this again. I have no idea what happened. I think my internet rebooted. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully everybody finds me again. We'll start this over and I'll start my whole spiel all over again. Oh, Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the SAS for September 22nd. I am in Nikki Adamquitz. For those who live on our rock, this is take two because clearly my internet decided to just shut right down all in one foul swoop. So I am going to start over with everything that I told you um, if in the first video as if nothing ever happened. So this is the SAS. Take two. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are going to talk to you today about Duralux panels. I'm going to show you all of the wonderful things that you can do with Duralux. Hopefully my internet decides not to just randomly restart in the middle of my live. Don't they know we have a sass to do? Anywho, let me tell you again, starting over, all about Duralux panels. They are a company that is out of Italy. Their home based business is out of, or their based business is out of Italy. And they have one local, um, I say local, they're in Florida. And our local rep is Kevin Lumberg, who is an absolute sweetheart. He is an amazing man to talk to and full of lots and lots of knowledge. Um, as I was saying in my other one, they, Duralux is such an amazing product that it has an over five year shelf life to call it something, but it's a UV shelf life. It means you can put it outside and it's not going to fade. It's not going to do, um, have to worry about the elements. It is a beautiful, beautiful product. It doesn't chip. It doesn't flake. Um, obviously we're going to bend it today. Um, and how do I bend it? We bend it using some of our own household project products like a pasta pot. That's right, I am bending this over my pasta pot because you know what, I don't want you to have to go buy a jig, I don't want you to have to go buy special mats and foam pieces. I want you to be able to literally just take your panel, be able to do what you need to do with it without all the added extra costs. That's what makes Duralux such an amazing product itself. So let me tell you a little bit more about them. They come currently from Coney Island Transfer. They are our local homegrown. And they have three different finishes. They have a matte, a texture, and a glossy. I'm going to show you the things that I have done, how I've bent them, how they don't stretch the image, how it doesn't flake the image. It doesn't do anything to the image except just make it gorgeous. Yeah, we need to go up a little bit, please. Uh, she is really being a pain this morning, that Jennifer. Better. <laughs> I must be cutting off my head. I'm off with her head. Anywho, so I'm also going to show you how to make these curved panels. I know you guys have seen the acrylic curve panels out there, but you have to buy so many other things in order to achieve this look that you don't with Duralux. All you just need is your Duralux 8x10 panel and a pasta pot. And I will show you how to do this. Um, you could do it in both horizontal and vertical. As you can see, it has the most amazing colors. This was a collage I did years ago with my family. Um, I made this thing could be a bill holder somebody had posted. It could be a napkin holder. It could hold paper plates. It could hold folders. It's so sturdy that, and I'm going to show you, that I literally, if you ask Jen, sat for about 10 minutes making sure that I got this the way I wanted it because I wanted this kind of flat so that it bent correctly. And as you can tell, nothing, right? It is best if you bend it originally. I did find if you bend it while it's hot, that first initial bend. And then after that, you could sit there and bend it and play with it and, and whatnot. And I literally bent this thing over 20 times and almost flat and it didn't even snap. I mean, I'm not recommending you go to that point, but at least you could just bend it and know that you're not going to break your product. That's quality right there. This one is the glossy finish. As you can tell, it's got a beautiful finish. It looks absolutely amazing. I took a square and, you know, thinking outside the box, I took my square and I just bent it in. Now, if you notice, I deliberately put the uh, edge so that you could see it. And you could see it doesn't do anything to it. Look at how awesome that looks. All right. And now I've got a really cute, cute, and cool little shape instead of it absolutely um <laughs> see we're gonna make bookends today 
Yep, so I have two designs I'm gonna show you today. Um, actually, I got a couple. I've got some photos that I'm gonna show you, how to make a panel. I'm gonna show you how to make bookends using a design that Jessica Trant made. So go over to Jessica's shop. Jessica's watching, hopefully. If not, um, Jen is. Please post the link to Jessica's shop. She made a design that we're gonna do today. We're gonna make bookends out of these. What? And then we're also going to make a sign that is made for your little league fields. You know the ones that say, I'm pretty much a kid? They're human. Please leave us alone. <laughs> that one came from Margo. So we're going to do that because you know what? You're going to want to post that outside. See, that's another thing about Dura Lux. You can actually, it opens up the market for you to have signs for outdoor signs, for businesses, for little league fields, softball fields, soccer fields, football fields. It has all of the greatness that you can have in a product. Whereas your typical panels that you see, yeah. They can't be outside because they're not UV safe. And if they're telling you, oh, there's three years, well, I got five years, and we're moving it up to 10 years, we're gonna have more shapes other than just your typical square and rectangle. We're looking to get in the round realm, which is really cool for those who make wreaths because that's another added bonus is you can add it to your wreath. You can actually use hole punches. So I didn't finish these off. Um, because I'm working on them myself, I happen to have an AccuCutter and uh, a shearer so I can make, that's right, I can make earrings out of this, I can make ornaments out of them. You can scale them down if you get a shear cutter. They also have a product, it's um, a metal, it's a bending bar. It's, it's an 18 inch bending bar that you can then take and literally, if you didn't want to use what I'm going to show you, you can go buy it, it's $50, and bend it. But I'm going to show you how I use my table, how to use the bending bar. So there's lots and lots of versatility with these. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to really buy anything extra because everybody's got a pasta pot in their cabinet um, and a soup pot. So let's... uh. Right? Earrings, ornaments. Think of all the things that you can make with it. Earrings, ornaments, bookmarks. You can obviously make signs. That's one of the most beautiful things about it. You can put them inside your wreaths. You could, so many things. You can bend them and you make napkin holders or cup holders or whatever you think. Start thinking outside the box. This is an eight by 10. Um, if you fold this, if you fold it again, you can make a phone stand out of it. You can make a book stand for recipes. Just make sure you flip it over so the design is facing you and that the bad side isn't. They are gonna be coming out with a double-sided Duralux. So there's lots and lots of stuff coming down the pike with Duralux because remember, Duralux was a commercial business that's now just coming into our world. And our world is kind of crazy because they look at us and go, what are you doing? We're creating crazy. All right, so I'm gonna get this potty started. I'm gonna show you how I did it. There are gonna be some tools and tricks and tr stuff that you're gonna need. You definitely need to make sure that you get yourself a very good pair of gloves. The reason being, these bad boys are hot. You're gonna start them out at 400 degrees and I bake mine for 150 seconds. You're going to bake them, press them, silver side, so you're, here's your heat, Here's your substrate, here's your transfer. Completely opposite of what we normally do because you want the heat to penetrate through the back to get into this image and that's what makes it just a rock awesome product. So make sure that you have it this way. We're gonna bring it over to the press. I'm gonna show you, um, I'll just swing it over because I don't wanna move the camera too much today because we have lots to show I, and I'm gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna clear off the table. You get to see these. I will do a close-up of these. I'll show you some beautifulness. This just happens to be the texture of my husband and I. Believe it or not, that's what Kevin looks like. I know that you all don't know what he looks like. Um, and we take this picture every year. This is back when my kids were little. Awesome, right? Here's the actual colored version so you know you can actually see us. <laughs> this is the gloss. I mean, look at the gloss on that. That gloss is absolutely amazing. And I actually hand bent this one just because I didn't feel like getting out the pasta pot today. So let's talk about sizes real quick. They do come in an 8x10. They come in a 5x7. They also come in a 6x6. Six six. So this was the 6x6 six six square. Just bent the corner. This was the 5x7. I just bent it down about two inches. So this is a five inch square. I mean, how 
pretty is that, right? Awesomeness right there. All right, so we have those. So like I said, here it is. I believe everybody in their repertoire of kitchen appliances happens to have a pasta pot and a soup pot. You really want to make sure that they're durable. And there you go. And nothing else was extra to buy. So I have to tell you, when I all of a sudden, Stan says to me, well, we got to figure out how to bend it. You can bend them. I'm like, okay. And I go, I want to make a panel. He said, okay. So him and I talked about it. I go, oh, I've got the most amazing genius idea, but I can't tell you until I make sure that it works. So I went, I bent it. So proud of myself. And as you guys know, I get really super excited about things. I go, you will never believe what I bent this over. The look on that man's face was absolutely priceless. He goes, you used a what? And I go, a pasta pot. Why? Because they're metal. They're durable. You can just literally just bend it right over and it worked. And it gives you a beautiful curve without buying the $50 jig. And I didn't have to buy a special jig for a vertical versus a horizontal. I can do it whatever I want. That's a great thing about this. I even used my table here to bend those other pieces. So you can go get a two by four. You can go get the, the bend bar that they have at like the Home Depot or Harbor Freight. And you can go get those if you don't want to, but if you don't want to spend that extra money and you want to throw your money into your product itself, use what you got at home. That's what's beautiful about the product. I'm still moving. Katie's still moving for everybody who knows. <laughs> so, I mean, how awesome is that? It's now going to help you up your game. So we're going to leave these here. I'm going to show you how I press it. The heat press again is on 400 degrees. I'm going to put some more light on the subject. Not this subject because Lord knows we don't need any more light. All right. We're going to start out with, I'm not going to show you the image. There's a reason I'm not going to show you the image because this is a present that's actually going to go to Jen. Um, I'll show you the image after this is going to go to Jennifer. Um, so this is the glossy panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our pasta pot and we're going to bake it, you know, cause it's like a grown panini press or heat presses are, you're going to literally press it in there. Make sure that you do, um, I do medium pressure, medium to heavy pressure. I don't like squish the heck out of it. It's a panel. You don't need to, you just want the heat to go through it. You put butcher paper on the bottom. You have your transfer, so you have your transfer. This is how it literally is going to go inside my heat press. Just tape it down. It is probably the easiest and simple product process that you can have. Also, every one of your panels comes with this, and I mean this sucker is a sticky coating. So make sure you take off the sticky coating. Okay, sticky coating, gone, okay? You don't gotta do anything to it after you take that sticky coating, just flip her over. All right, I'm gonna take this. You guys know how to do this. That part you don't need to know um, because you all know how to tape and you all know how to line things up and put it in your substrate. When you're making your designs for your eight by tens, make your image, okay, to include your bleed. All right, when you're doing this. So for an example, if it's an eight by 10, make it 8.125 by 10.125. One, two, five. That gives you a little bit of bleed on either side. That also goes for the same for your five by sevens. The five by seven is a 5.125 and a 7.125. All right, this way again, it adds for the bleed, so on and so forth. You just want a little bit of extra. You never want to line it up 100% because Lord knows that we all work at night and we can never do anything straight, especially because, you know, I'm part of Team No Sleep. So, I literally just put two pieces of tape on it. I didn't need to put any more than that. It wasn't something that needed to happen. All right. It's set for 400 degrees for 150 seconds. Okay. Just going to swing this over so you guys can watch. You don't necessarily need to see all the fun details because you guys know how to do this. This is something you know how to do. All right. So then you're going to take it. Transfer face up, substrate face down, so that the silver part is facing you, okay? You want to add some more butcher paper. All right. Add 
add that on top. So while this cooks for 150 seconds, we're gonna make sure that it penetrates and does everything as you, and let me tell you, I can't wait to do this. You don't need anything fancy. That's the wonderful thing about Duralux. It does not need to be any fancy equipment to literally give you a quality product. You want the quality that everything else does and everybody else has, right? You want that quality, but you don't wanna pay the huge price because let's be honest, you and I are gonna have to mark this crap up a ton if we have to worry about all the other stuff we have to invest into it. So if you're investing in all of the extra add-ons, then that just makes you have to up your cost of your product. Now, I know what you're going to ask me. Nick, how much are you going to sell your 8x10 panels for? Well, I know what Stan's selling them for. You definitely want to times it by two by that. I'm looking at about probably $25 for the 8x10 panel, roughly. Um, so I know you're going to ask me that question. But it, it's all what you feel. I saw some things in the thread earlier uh, this week, and it was all about costs and how we figure out costs. And, and let me say this to each their own, all right? You figure out your pricing based on you. I preach it every Sunday. You figure out your pricing, which works for you. All right. I need to get, let me see what the pricing, yeah. You do, and each area is different when it comes to pricing. I know what I can get in my area, and I know what people can get in other areas. And honestly, do what makes your heart happy, all right? That's all I can say. If you're okay with your pricing and it's selling, then go with it. Maybe next year, up at 50 cents. Maybe the year after that, up at a dollar. If it's a stock item or a stock image that you have where you don't have to change a name or add a date, you just have to print and press, then you know what? Maybe you can keep it at a low. Or if it is something, add 50 cents, add a dollar. You know, that kind of thing. So think about it that way. I'm so excited for this, you have no idea. <laughs> so this is a kitchen, I, my thing is a KitchenAid, so it's got a nice hard bottom on it. All right, you have no idea, no idea. Hopefully you guys can see, oh good. I'm gonna turn this, just the camera, just a little bit as I take this off. So I really want you guys to see how easy this is. All right, four, three, two. All right, so when I say it's this easy, have I ever steered you wrong? No. Now remember, when I put it on this metal table, it literally starts cooling down immediately. So again, you want this to be, and these are hot. Okay, give it a little bit of a cool down real quick. Take your pasta pot, light her up, and ready? Flip her over, do it again. Okay, and then all I do is just a little bit of this, and we're done. Yep, did you see what I just did? I just used a standard pasta pot to bend a piece of metal. And if I want it more of a curve, as it keeps getting cooler and cooler, I can give it more of a curve. I put my thumbs here, and I give it a little more of a bend. You can, I mean, and for those who have no idea, Jennifer. She's crying again. I know she is. Jennifer has been sick for the last two weeks and she's still showing up every day to the sass. But how gorgeous. How simple is that? So for 150 seconds, throw it on your pasta pot for just a few seconds, bend it, and there you go. How amazing, right? Let's do another one, shall we? This time, I'm gonna actually show you how I make the bookends, all right? It's from Coney Island Transfer. Here's the image. This is what you can get from Jessica Trant. She is making, she made this book image, bookend image for me. Um, and I'm gonna show you how I did the bookend using my table. All right, again, 
So because the image is only five, this, I, did, I left it white because of the image. I didn't want to do it black. I wanted you guys to really be able to see on camera. So I'm literally just going to line this up where my edge is on the top. Don't worry about my bottom edge. Okay. I'm going to put both of them on because I'm going to show you how you can actually bend both. Even if you go, oh gosh, I forgot, you know, it's too hot. It's cooled down. I'm going to show you how you can actually do it. If it is a little cooled down um, without too much fuss. All right, so there's one, and let's do number two. Because, you know, bookends, you need two. And I'm going to show you. So this one is the texture. That one is the gloss, because I want to show you the difference in quality. Um, not that that's bad. That's a good thing. It's just sometimes it's about preference. Okay, we're going to throw this on. Again, still 400 for 150 seconds. All right. bend the texture one on the more cool side because texture seems like it should probably crack and peel and that's not even the case all right so we have that I'm going to show you how to make a ball field sign I have a hole punch which I'm not going to show you how to use the hole punch but you could probably use a drill um anything to put a little hole you can even super glue um hangers on the back and do it that way anything you can make these into message boards did you know that so everybody's doing those message boards, the dry erase boards. If you get the glossy, you can actually use these as a message board. If you want to use magnets, like put a pen, you could use Velcro right here and it holds your, your um, dry erase marker. You could do it for that. I mean, really think of all the things that we are producing as graphics designers and how you can incorporate them on your Duralux panel. That's pretty cool. I mean, it kind of just does a lot of things and it's lightweight and it's not gonna break in shipping. <laughs> That's a beautiful part. It's not gonna break in shipping. It's so lightweight that it's not even gonna break in shipping. How do you put the holes in for the attach to like a pole? Like I said, you could drill holes into it um, and you can actually, like I said, super glue hangers on the back and then you can zip tie it onto the uh, fence posts or a pole or whatnot. But you really can just drill hole. I have a hole punch um, that allows me to have a little tiny hole and I'll show you, it's on the earrings. So my hole, and there's two just cause I was playing with placement. So hopefully you guys can see those holes. So I use a hole punch and the whole punch literally goes through. So I have now a place for a nail starter or whatever. But this is what I was playing with to make the earrings. I literally wanted to see how I could see how I can make fun shapes in them. How cool is that? And this is actually on the matte finish, believe it or not. Um, and it still looks absolutely amazing. Well, man, no magnet magnets will not stick to them um, because these are aluminum. So no, you can't use a magnet on them. Um, so there you go. If you do want to make, um, the different boards that are out there, you can, I saw a great idea where they took a washer and, um, one of our, uh, members, Debbie, she took a washer, super glued it, and then put the piece that you wanted on top of that. So that's another great idea for those people who are doing those home boards and whatnot. You can definitely do that, um, to hold it to the Duralux panel. Ooh, here we go. All right, let's move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. First up is the glossy. I'm gonna leave the texture on there. I'm gonna take this off. It came absolutely out amazing. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I don't know if this one's the texture. I guess they're both textured today. So here's what I did to make that. You see right here, I literally took the edge of my table and just bent it. Okay, lay it on the table flat, and then you can sit here and you can bend it at whatever angle you so choose. See how, how cute is her design? Look how precious is that? I mean, seriously, go miss Jessica. So I'm gonna make those bookends, right? So now I got the tech, the other one, the both texture. I thought I grabbed a glossy. I didn't. 
this has been cooling off, okay, it's still really warm, I'm going to literally let it cool, all right, I found it just bends a little bit easier while, you can still bend it while it's um, hot, obviously, but you can also bend it while it's cool, so we're going to literally let this cool down, especially for those people, like my friend Beth, who hates heat, um, she's in the heat press business and she hates heat, that just is what cracks me up in life. So we're going to let it cool completely. I want you to see how it works. I'm also going to put literally a slate in between, a couple slates in between, just because slates are heavy like books, and we're gonna stand them up and then we're gonna see how this works. I might need to have it a little bit more of a bend on the um, bookshelf, but you know what? We're figuring it out. Cool this off. Right? These guys are hot. And they retain the heat for a long time. All right. Let's cool this down. Probably could have sticked it in water. I'm not one of those people that stick their mugs in water, so I don't know why I would stick a panel in water, but you know, teach them. Okay. Completely cold, right? Whoa, completely cold. Again, just take a hard edge, your table, a two by four, it doesn't matter, whatever you got laying around to be able to put your hand on the top and literally bend it. You notice it did struggle a little bit more because it was cooling off, it had cooled off. But now I'm gonna give it a nice angle. Feeling my Oreos today. All right, here comes the true test. Okay, so bookends, right? Bookends are typically a little more straight up. So let's pull this apart, right? If you notice, I'm really not struggling, it's just I'm short and I'm all about. So you wanna give it a little bit of an angle. Hold on. Angle one. Angle two. I'm kind of nervous. All right. We'll see if this works. If this works, I'm a genius. That's all I got to say. If this works, I'm a genius. Okay. Well, that's probably not even a good one. Yeah, it works. Ooh, let's add more. Because... Now this just opened up a whole new avenue for you to have custom bookends. Let's see if this works. Go until it doesn't, right? Is that the old adage? Pretty snazzy if you ask me. And look, I got really cute bookends now. I know they're only square, but you know what? Some of the pretty things you could put on them, some of the really beautiful sayings. Obviously, Jessica Trant totally knocked this one out of the park with this one. Um, so there you go. You can, if you want to get wild and crazy, um, take them. Hold on. Just a little. Not too much. Super glue these two things together. This was a Beth idea. And now you've got a napkin holder. Okay? This is what it would look like if you super glued them together. Now you got an apple. You can change, obviously, you can change the bend on them. But how cool is that? Now, watch. Oopsies, I have to rebend it, right? Now you just watched. I'm literally laying this flat again. Okay? I'm literally going to sit here and abuse this. Why? I want you to see this. I want you to see me literally abuse this thing. And watch how my image doesn't do anything. It doesn't stretch, it doesn't flake, it doesn't chip, it doesn't do anything. But I'm sitting here literally bending the living daylights out of it. Ready? I didn't even snap it. I'm gonna bend it back out so it could be a stand. And there you go. How flipping amazing is that? And look, my image quality didn't even change. 
Nothing changed in that image. Nothing changed along that bend where you saw me bending it completely crazy. I literally put, I'm a fluffy girl, and I put all of my weight into that bend. So it should, if in theory, when you're bending metal back and forth, you should just snap. But it didn't, and you watched it live. You could. Right? Amazing quality. I'm reading some of the comments. People are like, it's amazing quality. It doesn't crack. It doesn't. And you could use it outside. Again, another bonus. Here's one of those signs that we're going to do that you can do outside. I'm going to actually cook two signs. I'm going to do one that's going to be smaller, rounded, the 5x7, so you can see it. Again, you don't need any special equipment for the 5x7. But we're going to use my little soup pot to bend my 5x7. I'm also going to show you the sign that Margo made. If you go over to Margo's... Um, page you'll hopefully she uh will put a blank one up there i didn't ask her to do that last night but i know she knows better she knows she knows these are great for those people who are in the whole sports business um i was in it for years and got out of it so you know it's kind of one of those things that it uh it's whether or not if it's for you all right, let's put this on here. This is going to stay flat, actually. So this is going to be one of those signs that you, you hang up, you drill the holes. I'm not drilling holes today. Um, you can just drill the holes in it. And I'll show you that sign. Throw this on the press. And I'm going to throw my 5x7. Um, this picture is a near and dear picture to me because it is four generations of sassy woman so for those who have no idea who these people are this is my grandmother who god bless me is still here and my mama my daughter and myself my grandmother figured out the whole clothing thing a long time ago so i want to put that on i'm going to put it on a glossy um because i want you to see the glossy because i think images i think photos look so amazing on glossy I think it just looks classy um, it looks like a photo so I was watching one of Kevin Lundberg's lives and he sent himself one of these in the mail as a postcard did you know you just sent him as a postcard I did not know that my post office husband will probably chime in on that one but you can send them as a postcard tell how think how cool that is you get a shearer or a cutter and you can make those metal business cards that everybody's, you know, posting about. So make your own. Take an 8 by 10 and cut it down into different sizes. And now you can make your own business cards. Um, the metal ones. Take them down, cut them down, and you can make your own magnets out of them. Super glue magnet on the back. And now you've got that. They are great to, for an addition for you to sell for photographers. You're looking at those raw edges after you've cut it. Just get a metal file. And you can actually just sand down the outside edges and it really does take a beating all right so let's get these bolts on here let them cook away I'm going to show you just a standard panel of what it looks like flat and then I'm also going to show you how I bent the little guy on my soup pot I'm gonna read the messages grab a quick drink of coffee because you know what I talk for the way you do long sometimes Yes, this, the E6000 would work great. Um, what you can do too, um, I'm looking to have Stan get in the 5x10 panels. I'm trying to get Kevin to get me 5x10 panels. And the reason I want that is because it makes a perfect napkin ring holder without you having to glue it. But until then, you can glue it. <laughs> um, or you, if you get the cutter, just cut one of the uh, 8x10s down. Use the scrap pieces for other projects and just cut it down. So there's lots of different versatility. Yes, you can buy the extra cutters and whatnot, but if you don't want to, super glue, a little bit of ingenuity, and you're off to the races. Do you have to add any more time? No, I don't have to add any more time. That's a great question, Joe. You don't have to add any more time. I literally have two different panels, two different size panels on there. That's a beautiful part about the product. And one is glossy and one is textured. So we found, um, Stan and I found that the 150 second mark is the sweet spot for my clamshell. Um, and for his, I think he's got a swing away. So we found that that was the sweet spot for us that seemed to work. They recommend between 140 and 160 seconds, so of course we went dead on in the middle and it worked out perfectly. 
Currently, they only, Coney Island currently only sells the 8x10. He is looking to get larger sizes, um, but for right now, it is 8x10. So, as this is a new product to Coney Island, so keep that in mind too. Um, as I talk about it more, and you guys see how excited I am because I am a total quality snob, um, I won't talk about anything on my live unless I am absolutely 100% sold on the product. So, there is that. Um, so for right now, it's 8x10s. 8x10s, like I said, are great for those signs that everybody's doing. Dry erase boards, signage for outside. Those are great for hitting up those businesses, parking signs, all that. You can make those funny, quirky parking signs, too, that you see, like old granny parking or, you know, over-the-hill parking. Think of that kind of stuff because now it actually can be used outside. House numbers is another one. Take some five by sevens and make house numbers out of them and make sets out of them. Um, so like I said, lots and lots of versatility. You got a house with a bunch of little ones and this goes flying, it's not going to break. So that's a beautiful thing as well. Let me, let me get over here. I get my handy dandy gloves on. These came from Carolyn, who was tired of watching Nikki burn her hands. So she graciously bought me a pair of gloves because she seriously stopped wanting me to whine. I think I must look homeless or something. All right, so we're going to pull both of these off. Guess what? And no shadowing. What? So I'm going to pull these off. I love this picture. Still my favorite. Four generations of sassy, sassy women. Right, show you that. So here's the sign that Margo made for me for my local Twin Town Little League. Holy Moses, they're hot. Even with good gloves, they're still hot. So there you go. Here's the sign that she made for me. It says, remember, I'm a kid. I'm, it's just a game. My coach is a volunteer. The umpires are human and no college scan scholarships will be handed out today. Thank you and have fun watching me have fun. Your child. How awesome is that? I'm going to go in and I'm going to literally put holes in the four corners and I'm going to give this away to my local Twin Town Little League. Um, she went and got the logo for me. So that's pretty awesome. So this came from Margo, who is our sports connoisseur kind of saw her over at our graphics and design group. She does pretty much all of our sports stuff. Um, so go visit her page. And um, I'm hoping she'll put up a blank one of these and then you can add the little logo here for your local team. I think this would be a great addition. Um, so, and, and, and this could apply, she can make a soccer one. I'm totally gonna make her do a soccer, softball, and football. So get to it, Margo. We need baseball, soccer, football. And softball, right? Baseball, softball. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we need those because these are great signs to offer to those local little league fields that you have. Um, put them online, sell them, makes a beautiful gift. So there's that. As you can see, I've been literally letting this sit. Bring on the, the little super pot. Again, all right? Turn it to its side and just add a little bit. Oh, look at me. I did it the wrong way. Oopsies. Now let's do it the right way, right? You guys are going, oh my gosh, she totally bent it the wrong way. You can bend it any way you want. Rock on with your bending self. Give it a little bit more love. And there you go. So, what a beautiful, beautiful gift I get to give my grandma. Um, who hasn't been necessarily feeling very well, but this is the glossy. Just some of my absolutely favorite women in this, and this was taken a few years back. Um, I say a few years back, I think Sari was a freshman. She's now a junior in college. <laughs> so how amazing the quality and the bend just using a simple pasta pot or soup pot, right? Now you know who I look like. In case anybody had no idea, the apple does not fall far from the tree in my family. I at least know I'm going to look fabulous at 86. So, you know, we're all first women in our family. We're all 22 years apart. And 
this is definitely a keepsake. So one of my absolute cherished um, things that I have for me, and you too can make those beautiful cherished memories, something very simple. This is great for a nursing home. This is great for those people who live in trailers who don't have a lot of space. Um, and if they drop it, as I said to my mom, mom, look, it's hurricane proof. Um, joking around because she lives in Florida. <laughs> So these are just some of the most amazing products you can get with making a Duralux photo panels. If you're gonna do the, the horizontal one, you literally go this way and then you go this way on your pot. That's a great one. So these are just some of the rounded bent panels you can make and it's all just using your pasta pots or your soup pots and you see how quick and easy that was now I do want to show you something you can bend them by yourself you don't need to have the pasta pot but let me show you the difference in quality and I deliberately did this so if you notice I have a nice beautiful rounded curve right because the pasta pot helps this is the one I did by hand that's because I was lazy and didn't want to go get the pot. Well, go get the pot. Give them quality. If you try to do this by hand, you're going to end up with this weird wonky edge. So just go get your pasta pot. Call it a day. But you can make it vertical. And you can do the same thing for your 5 by 7s They can be a vertical. They can be horizontal. You could take your squares and make them into, you know, turn them as a triangle. And now you've got a really another great image. Another great thing, these are great for table numbers, for weddings, or different conferences for people. You can sell these to the different banquet houses. Banquet houses love numbers that they can actually reuse and over and over again. The paper ones are just a thing of the past. You also might want to sell them as wedding favors with a couple's picture on them as a great keepsake. So the possibilities are absolutely endless as to what you could actually use these for. I mean, really. And for the most bang for your buck and don't have to buy extra equipment, you already own the two items that I used. And everybody has a table. Just use the table or go buy a piece of a two by four so that you can bend these fun little shapes. When you're creating these, I do a five inch square, well, 5.125 um, square and then I leave myself like this one I did the black on the bottom just because it goes it's not going to scratch it's not going to get beaten up it just for me it just looks finished versus the white the white to me does not look finished so what I would do and I did this deliberately is so that you could see it better on camera um, how you can just bend it right at that line and you make it into bookends like I said the possibilities of this item are absolutely endless and uh, the quality, even if it's a matte, a texture, glossy, the quality of all the pictures is just absolutely breathtaking. So I got to tell you, I give this two thumbs up um, as to a quality product. I now don't have to mess with acrylic panels. Don't get me wrong. I love my acrylic panels. They have their place in the world. But I really got to say, for my most bang for my buck and less frustration and less worrying about if it's going to bubble or if it's going to... You know, you're spending nine bucks or so on a acrylic panel and all the crap that goes with it, and I didn't have to. So, you know, I don't know. This is also great because you can put these on your little printers and presses. That's amazing, too. It now is more versatile for you. So, there you go. There's my QVC moment. <laughs> so, let me answer some questions. I've got some other things to talk to you about. Um, we're going to talk and talk and talk and talk. I hope you guys are ready. I'm going to get the camera a little closer. Because y'all don't need to see everything. Don't chop off my head. There we go. So, I hope you guys learned something amazing about the Duralux panels. Um, like I said, they are a commercially based business, but they are definitely bringing in the sublimation world to a whole new level and offering us a great product and one that can actually withstand the UV rays far better than any other product on the market. So, that's a beautiful thing for us. So, I hope you guys learned something from that. And I'm going to try to answer those questions. I'm going to pull up the iPad right in front of me. So, you and I can sit, we can chat. I'm also going to uh, have to give some couple things while I'm thinking about it. 
um, and Margo's here. So for those who are going to the ISS show in Fort Worth, Dallas, Margo's doing a meet and greet. That's right. So find the link for the meet and greet. She's got it in the main group. Go visit Margo. She's a hoot and a half. If you want a good time, go find Margo. She is meeting. It's October 4th. Go find her. Go say hello. She is just one of those crazy Southern girls. Um, and I absolutely adore her. So please, by all means, go find Margo at the ISS show meet and greet on October 4th. She's still alive. I don't know why. What? Huh? Who's still alive? Oh. That's still alive? Yeah. Dom's still alive. I tried killing him. Anyway. Okay. So we talked about the meet and greet. We talked about Duralux panels and how all you have to do is use your pasta pot to do that. Um, some other things that we want to talk about. Did you know that it's only 94 days until Christmas? That's right. It's only 94 days until Christmas. Ha ha ha. That's right. So with that said, I'm hoping that my box gets here in time. It has shipped out from Hailbound. And guess what's in my box? I am so excited because next week is all about my Hailbound. Um, I have been doing Coney Island for a while and I finally got Amy to go, please, I need my stuff. No, she has been so crazy busy cutting because you guys have been absolutely insane with the elf ornaments and the new snow globe ornaments. I painstakingly sat down for hours and taught myself with the help of YouTube and whatnot, how to make those gorgeous snow globes. So they are a huge hit. She has been busy with those and a bunch of other things. She also has on there her jewelry, her MDF jewelry. She has the teardrop shapes, which everybody's seeing, but I said to her, can we have round? Because I like rounds. So next week I get to sport my round earrings and how simple they are to make because round is a shape. Round is a shape. <laughs> so, we're going to do those next week. And if I'm correct, there is the 20 panel blanket in my box. So I'll be doing that next week. That'll be kind of cool. Um, we'll have to break out Big Daddy for that. Actually, no, scratch that. The 20 panel blanket, that was actually made for little presses. Hmm. Who to thunk? So that 20 panel blanket was literally made with a little press and I believe a little printer in mind. So I will find out when I get here. As you guys all know, I loved the nine panel blanket. So now we get to figure out the 20 panel blanket together. Um, I will be pressing ornaments live next week. I'll be showing you all of those just so you guys can actually see a visual and you can see how mine and Margo's mock-ups literally are almost identical to the real thing. That's one of the beautiful parts about learning our craft is we want it to look as realistic as possible. Um, let's see. I love the elves. Silly goose. Uh-oh. Why did I get called a silly goose? I can't wait. I love it. We're going to gear up for the holiday season. I am going to be doing those. I am going to have some other Halloween-esque type items that you guys can have, like the tote bags and the tote bags and how you can use those as trick-or-treat bags. Just keep in mind, we're nearing the end of um, September. So if you're pushing Halloween now, you're probably late to the party. So you're going to see in my lives, I'm probably going to push more of the Thanksgiving and the Christmas stuff because... Did I mention there's only 94 days left until Christmas? All right. So if you've got vendor shows and whatnot, if your vendor shows are at the top of October, you really don't want to be doing too much in the Halloween category. Still stay with your fall. Still stay with your, your Thanksgiving. I wouldn't necessarily push Christmas at your vendor shows because people in their minds are not exactly there yet. You may be there with your online store and your Facebook store, whatever it may be. Yes, you have your Christmas items listed already. But when it comes to vendor shows, if you're at the beginning of October, you're still kind of pushing some Halloween and you're definitely in the fall and the Thanksgiving realm. You can have a little bit of Christmas, but I have to be honest, people aren't exactly there yet. It's not until late October, mid to late October, where people are finally getting in their brains that Christmas is coming. Um, and that's when people are starting to shop for those really cute, kitschy items. So there you go. 
lots of fun things that we can offer and do and shake let me tell you about some fun things you could do you could take the different mdf shapes and if you go and you get the little mini easels i posted about them the mini easels you can make little pieces of artwork um, they are absolutely gorgeous. They're great little tchotchke items. You can get the easels on Amazon. I'm going to show you the easels. Um, I don't have anything printed because they're literally coming out, coming into my shop and leaving as fast as I possibly can post them. But let me show you some different things. And it's just because I happen to have one closed. You can use coasters. You can use anything you want. I have three inch squares that I use, but you can use, I mean, round rounds of shape remember we talked about this but think about this way this is a cute kitschy type item that you can use the square ones you can use you could use a Duralux panel you definitely want if you're going to use the Duralux 5x7 or the uh, 6x6 you definitely want to get a bigger one this is the 5 inch variety you definitely want to get the larger variety if you're going to use the Duralux panels um, but the Duralux sit on their own so you know um, but the MDF is what I typically use on these because I want to change them out for seasons and holidays and whatnot. So think of this as another little tiny kitschy type item that you can sell at your vendor shows. All right. I know, right? I'm loving the banking pillow behind you. That is my fave. So this design is in my shop. And as we've talked about it about a bajillion times, this is those snugly, soft, cuddly pillowcases from Coney Island Transfer. This is the 18 by 18, as you can see. This sucker's huge. Um, and how I sell them for people who don't know is I sell them as the case so they can take their own pillows that they already have on their pillow or on their couches and just stuff them or I sell them with the inserts. I let people have their options as to what they like and, and the versatility of it. It still gets me a sale either way. Um, the upsell is to have it yes with the insert as you can see i absolutely love these like i literally it's almost like the the sequin pillows for adults um they're very mesmerizing and you could just sit here they're just cuddly soft and you're just they're just a hug you know so i have one too that has um the heaven on it for those who have lost a loved one they're a hug from heaven that's the way i look at it so if you haven't gotten your snuggly soft 18 by 18 i suggest the 18 by 18 by the way because they are just more bang for your buck um these are an amazing amazing pillowcase you can do full bleed on them they do have also the um 12 by 18 so if you want a visual of what a 12 by 18 is it's literally the size of a garden flag so you could take one of my garden flag designs and put it on the 12 by 18 obviously it would be in the vertical um i do have some horizontal ones as well um not many but i can have more but it's all in just creating and doing, but they are the most snugly soft pillow that you will ever find in your entire lifetime. <laughs> yes. See, there's Jen. This is why I have to send Jen prizes because she is on this like white on rice. I want to thank you for making me giggle every time you say, let's get, <laughs> well, let's get bent. <laughs> I've seen them at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. What have we seen at Walmart or Hobby Lobby? Oh, the easels. You can get the easels, yes, at Walmart Hobby Lobby. But let me just tell you, for the most bang for your buck, Amazon sells them. That's where I got them. Um, Amazon sells them the cheapest. I got 24 for, I think it was $11. Um, so you definitely want to just shop around, but you can buy them on Amazon. And if you have Amazon, you got free shipping. So there you go. Just to name a few things. So there we go. Any questions? Anything else you want me to talk about? Anything we need to talk about, I guess, is a question. It was totally a Duralux day, and I hope you guys learned a lot um, about these Duralux panels and how you need to go right now and go buy them. And I mean legit go buy them. These are going to be great for Christmas, especially as photo panels. Um, they are amazing, and the fact that you can use that pasta pot, you guys can go off to the races. You don't have to worry about them breaking and shipping. You don't have to worry about the extra equipment. I don't have to buy a jig. I mean, that's a win in anybody's book. So I literally ordered, I got to order more because um, I just used a bunch of my 8x10s. But I literally ordered a bunch. They all come labeled on the back just in case you have a moment and you have no idea what it is, if it's textured or and whatnot. Um, 
you know, so there's that. So there's all of that that you can do. Um, so there you go. I hope that helps. Great day. Thank you. Thank you. The flag behind you. What about the flag behind me? Oh, Shirley wanted to know about the flag behind me. This actually just happens to be on a um, holder, but Shirley wanted to see my flag. She was talking earlier. Shirley. Sorry. Of course the guy's got to start mowing the lawn. So Shirley, here's that, that banner flag that we talked about. We put it on a dowel. I have these special dowel caps that go on the end. This one, I got to put new ribbon on it. I got to make it look pretty. Um, but you just put ribbon twine works really well um, but this is a great alternative to having those garden flags not necessarily be in the garden but have it be a banner flag on your front door so they're a very useful and universal product just by using a dowel and these dowel caps um, I've posted about them posted about them and past sasses um, and I can get you those links later but they come in white they come in black and this is a great way to display those flags Especially if you're doing the single-sided ones, they make great items for your door or in your house. It doesn't matter where you're putting them. You can put them other places instead of just the garden. And if you live in the Northeast like I do or any place that sees 100 feet of snow, I'm not changing my garden flag out every day or every season. I'm not trucksing out in the snow to... Uh, to change it. I want to change it off my front door. So that's a great alternative with those garden flags. Don't be afraid of them either. Yes. Um, where do you get the hole punch for the drill? Um, those, you could probably use a drill. I have, it's called a corner master. Um, it's a corner master hole punch. I got it from Johnson Plastics Plus and you can put the hole in it that way. You can use a drill. Um, a drill press will actually cut through these as well. Um, you can even go to your local hardware store and say, I need to put a hole in this. What do I use? And they'll help you find something. Um, but a drill. A drill will work. Um, and like I said, so will. You want to make sure it's a drill made for metal, obviously, because these are aluminum. Um, so you want to make sure that you have the right drill bit for that. But really simple, easy. Nothing, nothing crazy. If you don't want to hole punch it, could you... What could you use to hang them? Okay, so you know the picture hangers that have the, it's the triangle and it has a little piece on the edge. I know you're gonna know, and know you know what I'm talking about. There's different picture style hangers that you can use that you can super glue onto the back of these. And you definitely wanna super glue them. And then you can use them to hang. But you see the ones that swivel. I don't even think I have one on a picture here to show you. Um, but they have a swivel a hook thing on the back. Use them for pictures. So look for picture hangers and that's what you can use. Did that help? I uh, hope. I like this too because you can put the hangers on these little ones and have little tiny. I like little tiny um, pictures in my house because sometimes I don't want these huge pictures all over my wall. Sometimes I want to make a, a collage work of art or again you know what the nice part about this product is is that if I put it in my bathroom it's not going to get um, moldy uh, because you know when you take a shower you get humidity and everything like that these are going to be great for that as well um, so that's a great thing is great putting it in a bathroom um, that's a great product idea for those D loops thank you miss Kecky they're called D loops <laughs> So there, I hope that helps. Um, just some, like I said, some minor housekeeping items. Remember, Margo is meeting at the ISS show in Fort Worth, Dallas. Um, I am doing Christmas stuff next week. Hopefully, if my box gets here in time from Texas, um, I will be doing that kind of stuff. Um, I will be, let's see, what is next Saturday or next Sunday? It's not the first yet. So also, just a heads up. I am changing the sass from October 6th to October 5th at night. Um, I have a birthday party that I am attending uh, on the 6th that's two hours away. And actually my daughter and I are the source of entertainment for said birthday party. We are doing a crafts 
an arts and crafts birthday party for a friend of mine's little girl. So I am not doing the sass on October 6th, which is Sunday at 10 a.m. We are going to actually go live Saturday night, October 5th. Um, the time will be to be, can, to be announced, um, but I will go live that Saturday instead of that Sunday, which means I need to get my button gear a little bit earlier. <laughs> Um, so there's that. I will be having my regular scheduled programming this coming Sunday, which I believe is the third, the 29th, I mm -hmm. believe it's, huh? 29th. The 29th. I will be going live the 29th, as I always do on Sundays. So there's that. Like I said, October 6th will be switched to October 5th for that week, um, because I can't cancel us ass. <laughs> Not this early. So... I don't trust myself to cut them. Um, yeah, like I said, there's different sizes. They have a six by six, a five by seven, and an eight by 10. I do know that he's going to be working on other sizes. I wanna say it's like a 12 inch round is another one, or 11 inch round. Like I said, he's got different things. This is new. So you guys are entering this kind of like on the ground floor with me um, and figuring out what we want in the sublimation world. That is an amazing, amazing thing right there is we're literally building this together and that's just awesome in itself. And they're figuring out and they're listening to us and seeing what we want to have. So that's a great thing for us um, that they get to hear our voices because you know what? We might be a million voices, but you know, it only takes one. So I wanted to ask the same thing. It means it cuts into my sleep. Not if it's on Saturday night, Jody. Uh, so there we go. Right, a three inch round would be great. Um, I was thinking five, the three inch squares would be great. Like I have so many things I want into. So I'll be able to cut mine because I have the, the, the things to cut it, but I want you guys to have it so you don't have to worry about it. So like I said, things we're working on. <laughs> uh, yes, they are a 3 8 inch black dowel cap. Um, they are, if you go into the file section of Sublimation and more, I am literally the top sass. It's, it says the sass with Nikki. Jessica Trent, amazing Jessica Trent, has sat there and literally put all the sasses. Just scroll through. It tells you which one I did, where I did it, and it gives you the links to those items um, so that you can also make the uh, banner flags, which is a huge, huge hit. So there you go. And they're great for sports too, especially for hanging on the fences. You know, if you want to put teams or players on a fence, they are great for that as well. Um, who will be in Fort Worth? Margo will be in Fort Worth, Texas at the meet and greet on October 4th. She has a, a link for that. So find that in the main group. Um, she has that there. So go meet Margo October 4th for the ISS show meet and greet in Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. What are you using to cut them? Can you show us? Um, my table's a mess, but yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can show you. I would like to know how much smoke the stand outside. Huh? I would like to know how much smoke the stand outside. What stand? No. All right, let me see here. Don't mind the mess. Thank you, Margo. So this happens to be my Accu Cutter. All right, this is the Accu Cutter. All right, and this is what cuts it. This is the Corner Master. So this post puts holes in it. These are the different pieces that you can buy. Um, you can't do every one of these. I just use it for the hole punch. So I pull everything off my table so I can go live and it's not a mess around here. So, and there you go. It adds that hole. Um, or if I need to cut, I can't believe I'm doing this because, oh, there we go. And then it cuts down the piece to the size that I need it. And if you notice after I cut it, I mean, just notice that right there, it didn't do anything to that coating at all. The coating says, so I would file it. This would make a really great, you know, once I add the corners and whatnot, it'll add great earrings if I wanted to make it into earrings. But if you notice, it doesn't do anything to that coating. So there you go. 
So that's the cutter. This is the Aki cutter. This is the Corner Master. Um, and I got those from Johnson Plastics. There we go. Yeah, Margo would be a hoot to party with. Let me tell you what. Um, just bring the woman a bottle of wine and she will be one happy little camper and probably your best friend for the rest of the night. <laughs> Listen, I would fly to Fort Worth, Texas just so I could go partying with Margo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so there you go. Um, what time is it? 11.16. Oh, so it's a short sass today. That's okay, too. So there you go. There's the recap on the sass. We did the Duralux. We're gonna do a quick rundown of everything that we've done, unless you guys have something that we absolutely need to talk about. But it looks like we don't today. So today we talked about all things at Duralux panels. We talked about how you don't need any special equipment, no special jigs, no special foam pads, no act of Congress to make a rounded or curved Duralux photo panel. You just need your own pasta pot to make it happen. So by using your pasta pot or even using your soup pot, you're able to take those five by sevens and those eight by tens and make them into gorgeous photo panels. They don't chip, they don't peel, they don't fade. They have a five year UV shelf life and they are absolutely amazing. And we got bent today. That's right, because you know, if it isn't the sass, if we don't get bent out of shape, right? So we literally took our photo panels and we made bookends. Although these two don't match, they do coordinate. <laughs> um, we literally made these bookends and we bent them using my table, something really cool and simple. And as you can see, what, like I said, I used the heat to bend it, but this should have snapped by now, by the way. <laughs> Okay? And it's not. That's just an amazing product. So let me get this to where it needs to be. So it stands. And there you go. No chipping, no peeling, no fading, no nothing to that bend that I had to do. You know, I did it. Are you going to do it a million times like that? Well, no, not exactly. You're going to, and I'm going to make sure. Nothing, nothing amazing. Okay? So you definitely want to get on these um, without having to need any product, extra product to do these. Just a table, a pasta pot, and you're off to the races and running. You, They come in matte, they come in texture, they come in glossy. They come in a 6x6, six six, a 5x7, and an 8x10. Um, for those who are just joining the party, you could definitely make them into horizontal and you can make them into vertical. This is the 8x10 in a vertical. And here are the two five or eight by tens in the horizontal. They just use in your pasta pot. And look at the difference. So this is the glossy. This happens to be the texture. Still amazing quality. Um, each one has its own different corks, but it's absolutely breathtaking. This one is the little guy done in glossy. This is the five by seven. You could also do it as a horizontal, um, but I like the, the vertical to be honest with, or you could do it in a vertical, but I like the horizontal. Um, this is great for people who don't have a lot of space but really want the luxuriousness, luxury, luxury, luxuriousness of a photo panel um, without all the fuss. Um, you can take the six by sixes and you can use them as a square or you just bend the corners and now you've got a really cute triangle shaped um, design as well. As you can see, I did my little Nomi on it. So. Lots and lots of versatility. They can be used variety of different things. You could take your eight by 10 even, fold it up, bend it, and now you've got a really cool holder um, for all of those crazy products that you're gonna have. And there you go. They hold so many things. I showed you how they held two slates and a book, um, a binder, and they didn't even budge. So again, it's a great product. Not only is it great for inside your home, in your bathroom where it's gonna be mildew resistant, it's also great for outdoors as well because you know what? The outdoors has a ton of elements. Whether you're in the heat in Texas or you're in the 
cold winters of New York, it is going to withstand the heat, the wind, the rain, and the snow for more than five years to come. They're not going to peel, chip, or fade. That's a great thing. If you want to add a hanger to the back, you can get the different style hangers. Just super glue them on. Or you can actually drill holes, too, as well. They make great dry erase boards. Again, the product and the possibilities are absolutely endless. So that is the Duralux panels that you can get from ConeyIslandTransfer.com. Next week, I plan on talking to you guys about all things Christmas stuff. Um, we're going to talk about the 20 panel blanket, which is made for the smaller heat presses. I believe they're also made for the smaller printers. And I'm going to show you guys how to press those MDF L's and MDF snow globes that Margo and I have been feverishly working on. So I also want to give a huge shout out to two of our amazing moderators and designers from our graphics group who helped provide the graphics for today. And that is Jessica Trant from Jessica J Renee Creations and Margo. Uh, I can never say Margo's last name and she's probably giggling right now. I want to say it's Dravino. Um, and she is from TLP Bose Designs. Yeah. So <laughs> hers just sounds just so much like mine that I always get confused and want to say mine. And as always, you can get your designs out from my shop, which is LPB Designs and more on Etsy. So there are lots of great places. So go check out Coney Island for all the great products. We did talk about the Snuggly Soft pillowcases. The flax from Amy are now, um, I do know that she's working on back orders. They are, but they're not listed in stock yet. So those will be coming out. So look forward to those for those who are looking to fill your, your flag order. Right now she's currently filling back stock on all of that. Um, and I will be working on all things. God bless you, Kevin. All things, um, like I said, Christmas next week because we are now at the 94 day mark until Christmas. So until then, unless you guys have something else you need me to talk about, um, I'll see you guys all on the flip side. This has been the SAS for September 22nd. And again, I'm Nikki Dan Quits, in case you didn't know. Until then, bye.